another session. Hi everyone, my name is Sureshni Ryder and welcome to another session with Sush. Hashtag sessions with Sush. Uh, I love to get myself busy. I try to come up with creative things to make my six-year-old really, really be... Imp oh, I don't like this one at all. Hi there, my name is Sureshni Ryder and welcome to hashtag sessions with Sush. So if you've ever logged onto my blog, uh, my vlog, and you want to know what on earth I'm all about, I am a full-time radio presenter, but I spend a lot of my time as a voiceover artist, as an MC, as a social media influencer, and as a brand new mommy blogger. But the rest of my time is spent as a mom and as a wife and trying to be an aspiring businesswoman, so I'm quite busy. I spend a lot of my time trying to be creative, and basically, I try to impress my daughter every single day. I think parents have this, uh, this situation in their hands all the time with having to recreate things and make it fun for their kids to love. My child loves desserts, but she likes something fun and something cool. Um, and I always try to go out of my way to make the ordinary a little more extraordinary. So I wanted to show you how I make my very own topsy-turvy jelly. Uh, we both actually saw this on Pinterest one, and she said, Mom, could you make this? It, was, it looked really cool, and I think with a lot of things that you see on social media, it always looks amazing when it's somebody else's until it's your turn to do it and it comes out nothing like that. But in this particular case, this particular topsy-turvy dessert actually came out better, um, and I was quite impressed with it. I've made it only once, so this is my second time, and I hope you enjoy. So here's what you need to make the topsy-turvy dessert. Really, really basic ingredients, doesn't cost you too much money. We'll start off first with the muffin pan, um, just a general one, depending how many you want to make. Um, I'm making six and I like this particular size of the muffin pan. You need goblets, these little glasses. So these are the very specific glasses that I like to use. Um, these are my favorites and because I only had two, I'm, I'm borrowing my husband's. Are these whiskey glasses? I don't know, I don't drink, so I'm not sure. Heck, they're glasses, they look nice, they look like goblets, but obviously be wary if you're serving these to kids, I mean, it says shivers, I'm sure that's like scotch or whiskey, I don't know, anyway. You need a glass of ice water, uh, you can see I've just got cubes in there, it's kind of like just mellowing out. Uh, you need 250 mils of boiling water, I'm about to fill it in, so like a normal cup. Um, jag, and a fork. Uh, Parmalat, this is going to be your end game, so you'll see this later in the project, but yeah, please get yourself some custard. And I'm making old school style jelly. I like using Moyers, uh, maybe because I stick with brands that my mom has always used. So all my life, this is the one that I know. Um, and yeah, I like Moyers jelly and I like things traditional, so I'm going to go with the color red. There's some really nice ones. Moyers has released like... They've got bubble gum and candy floss and like new trendy colors, but I want to do something old school and traditional for this particular like dessert. So there we go. Moyers, wobble, gobble the wobble. Ooh, nice. All right, and then a um, handy pair of scissors. Oh, you need some tea towels or like dish towels, so these things. And let us begin topsy-turvy dessert. All right, so start off first with making jelly. Now, I'm sure you know how to make jelly, right? My mom loves making jelly. I think it's one of the first desserts I ever, like, fell in love with as a kid. And I think we weren't really allowed too many other desserts. My parents are quite strict about that. Okay, so I'm just using a jug for now because I kind of need it to be easier. So not, I'm not going to be setting it in the bowl, so this is why I'm using this jug and you'll see why. Okay, so pop that in and let's get the boiling water. Um, this I learned in home economics, that a cup equals 250 minutes, so just keep it nice and handy. Please, if you're making this near your little ones, obviously take care not to hurt them with boiling water. Now, the reason why I'm using ice water is because I learned a little trick that ice water speeds up the setting procedure. Hmm, did not know that. All right, so also uh, 250 mils of um, ice water. Okay, now you got that, all right? Now we have to work fast because jelly can set pretty quickly. Now, these are the glasses that you're going to be using, and this is the basic idea. You 
take your muffin tray and you need to put your glass so that it it looks like it's about to fall okay that's how you get that topsy-turvy look look do you understand and the reason I'm using the tea towels is because the tea towels are going to help me like balance the balance them nicely into the actual tray you pour in your jelly the trick also is to pour it till it reaches the actual rim of the glass a little bit more there you go because then it looks really awesome Please tell me we're going to make it. Oh, we've just run out. That's okay. We'll make this one. Let's make it three. Okay, so you can tell by 250 mils, you're going to get about three. So then please make extra. It goes into the fridge. Two sets. When we come back, it will be done. So it's day two. It normally takes a day to set really good jelly, so I can't wait to reveal what our topsy-turvy dessert looks like. I hope you're ready. So here we go, straight out of the fridge. Voila! How amazing does that look? Very nice. So you see, you have that effect. Topsy-turvy. Topsy-turvy. And now... It's the brilliant part of actually joining it up. So you take your custard, like so, you pour it in. Oh, this looks brilliant. Dun, dun, dun. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Topsy-turvy dessert. Easy peasy and looks so delicious. And if you want, you can end it off by maybe um, shaving some pieces of chocolate on it or adding some peppermint crisp or I don't know just garnish maybe with a mint leaf looks very nice on a, on a Christmas table and I hope you enjoyed <laughs> can't wait to tuck in delicious mm. <laughs> hashtag sessions with sush